everybody. I am back at the Colonial Capital Humane Society working with Lana. Lana and I have done a lot of work together so far, and each time we've worked together, she's come a little bit further. Lana is a dog who's been under-socialized or had a negative experience with humans in the past. She doesn't trust that people can read her signals, and it makes her uncomfortable when people enter her space. So what we've been working on is a lot of trust building, just teaching her that I'm not going to invade her space and that good things happen when I'm around, mostly treats. In this video, Lana was very hesitant to come and approach me, so all I worked on was having her come to my side and get some treats. So when she was too nervous to come up and grab a treat from my hand, I put the treats on the floor and she seemed more willing to approach me. One thing to notice with Lana here is that she's much more willing to approach me when I am not making eye contact with her or when I'm turning my head away. Sometimes I even need to lean my entire body away for her to feel comfortable enough to come get the treats. The reason I know to avert my eye contact or to lean is because I understand that social pressure is very important to dogs. So social pressure is anything from making eye contact with the dog, sticking your hand out into the, your dog's bubble, taking a step forward, which might be too much pressure, making your dog step backwards. These are signals that dogs understand in one another, but that people don't usually understand in dogs. So because Lana was able to come up to me with the peanut butter, I started desensitizing her by giving her some massage, petting her when she seemed comfortable, stopping when she seemed uncomfortable, and allowing that back and forth. So if she wanted to take a step away, I allowed her to give herself some space and come right back in. You'll notice that Lana's more comfortable approaching me from the back to come get treats, and that has a lot to do with that social pressure. So because I am not staring at her when my back is facing her, she doesn't feel the pressure of my direct eye contact, which makes her feel safer in getting those treats. I'll move over here, give her a little more space, make sure that I'm averting my eyes, I lean, make it obvious that I'm not going to invade her space and Lana slowly feels comfortable enough to come and get those treats. You know or are working with a nervous dog, take note of some of these body language cues and notice how your body might be affecting the dog. So avert your eye contact, lean away, and stay tuned for more videos.